So where are we, Beverly? Good question. Uh, it's spelt Pulalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite apprehensive this morning as I leave the uh, anchorage at Paul Doran uh, because um, I'm going to do a little bit of pilotage that I've not done before, which is go through Q and Sound. Now, when you read pilotage, honest to goodness, it just sounds so scary, especially when it talks about things like seven knots of uh, tide, sweeping you onto rocks, and things like that. It's like, oh my goodness. So my heart is just pounding, but I particularly want to do things that I've not done before. So this little bit of pilotage is going to be my little scary moment for the day. You wouldn't think it's 10 o'clock in the morning. No, it looks like we've, uh, feels like we've uh, woken up at the crack of dawn. Um, but um, the most I can say about the scenery at the moment is uh, it looks like an art project where you just do layers and layers of grey. That's what it reminds me of. And I did art. Okay, Skipper, give me your in the moment reaction. Thank that you. That was scary. <laughs> that was totally and utterly scary. I was doing over 10 knots. Um, my, um, I'm doing 8.1 at the moment. We had whirlpools and everything, didn't we? We had eight whirlpools. Oh, Beverly couldn't video because it was too much um, in the moment, if you know what I mean. We should have had brownie going at that. But never mind. If you know it's going to be like this, I wouldn't have come in here. We now go that way, do we? Or do we go straight? Uh, no, we've got to say this side and then we've got to go round. Right, let's keep an eye on things. Oh. Humidifier <laughs> is springing to mind. I need it and I need it on. After that passage, you want a bit of luxury, don't you? I need to be dry. I've got okay, it's not very much, I admit. Hey, that's from the rain since Kian signed. Yeah, <laughs> that's in the last half hour. Yeah, that's the last half hour. That's the amount of rain, and um, I still need to be on the helm because. Um, there's, there's so many islands and so much weed and so much other stuff that I have to hand steer. I can't, um, I can't let Annie do it because every two minutes you're changing course because of weed. Okay, drips, you're in. Oh, yeah, I'm in. I was just saying to Beverly, oh, you know, I think one of the things I did, I think I was, um, closer to the three twelfths, which meant that I was uh, going through at the fastest time, state of tide. So, um, I certainly, uh, <laughs> ten, over ten knots. Yeah, but we wanted the extra height because there's so many, um... Yeah, it's, it, it was a balance, because the problem is, if you go later, um... The depth in the sound decreases, and although um, you know the sound itself is fine, there's a lot more rocks and things like that that's uh, going to be um, causing you issues. And even as it was, you could see white um, uh, where the rocks were. Um, you mean the whirlpools? Oh, there was whirlpools galore. 
there's loads of whirlpools. I'm talking about where the rocks were. You could see that there was uh, where the rocks were because they were getting close to the surface. But yeah, I was just saying to Bev, do not do that again. And look what Bev says here. Not doing that again. <laughs> Me and my, I want a challenge. <laughs> Big mouth. I know. <laughs> well, Bubbly and I uh, came into Crove, um, which was a, a little bit of a navigation in itself because um, there's um, a boy uh, out on the Seaward Passage, um, which, to be honest, the, it is that rusted. It now looks red rather than green. And then when you come in, there's um, they've put a lot of uh, buoys uh, because uh, there's actually um, a sandbank um, just below them. So the red ones are all two colours now. They're red in the, where they're in the water and grey on top where the sun's done them in. It done them in. So you've got to sort of like um, do your best with them. But um, yeah, just. Um, come in and uh, power up the old computers for a little bit and then it'll be off tomorrow because um, we're just doing little bunny hops and um, this was enough of a bunny hop for me today just to come to here. Our course overground is 184, our course to steer is 210, we're 30 degrees, oh lordy look at that, we've been pushed 30 degrees off our course, but it's not a big worry, we're going the general direction we want to go, which is south, so I'm not too bothered about the whole thing. Are you trying to outdo me now? No, I'm not really, we're doing 9.7 at the minute. You not... are trying to outdo me. Look, we've got whirlpools for me. I was going to get through this area as quick as I can. I don't fancy hanging about. Oh yes, you are trying to outdo me. Well, I thought I might pick the tide up. Yeah, well, trust me. It wasn't quite what I had in mind. You picked it up all right. So Beverly, how was your 10, 10 knots of speed in comparison to my 10 knots of speed yesterday? Uh, mine was fairly prosaic to use uh, the word of the week. Last week's word of the week was archipelago. This week's word of the week is prosaic apparently. No, um, it was maelstrom. No, that's going to be next week's. <laughs> uh, but um, it's calming down, I'm glad to say. Our speed's down to a mere 9.7 knots. Um, which is a bit quick for sailboat, there you go. And uh, so I guess we're going to make some cracking time down the side of gear, I mean... Yeah, we're just flying along. But no, compared to Gainer's 10 minutes of terror in Cue and Sound, which we were so panicked we didn't even think the film until we were out of the really, really nasty stuff, um, we should have mounted the little camera on the arch, and uh, but we didn't think, we thought it was just going to be a... just through instead of being bum 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 like a pinball which is what actually happened to us but um no we're gonna go down we're gonna look at some anchorages and we're gonna see if we can pick one and set out some weather coming in but uh yeah i think we probably just saved ourselves half an hour with that burst of speed we're still doing 10 knots even here <laughs> 